Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joseph with Seven Day Slumber, Blaze with Seven Day Slumber, and my youngest son, Sage, and you're watching the Mike Wolf YouTube channel. Keep it locked. Hi, I'm Dan Lawrence once again for the Mike Wolf YouTube channel, and we are just right after the acoustic version of the Seventh Day Slumber concert, something you guys don't really do this much often anymore, do you? No, we don't. And uh, This is, you know, every now and then we... we have a, a a concert that'll have us in just for that and um and we enjoy we love to do them but uh but usually people bring us in for a full concert so we always love it when they bring us in for this too okay and for those who've never heard of seven day slum seventh day slumber yet and your name is i'm joseph and this is blaze blaze is your son isn't he is, yeah. is, isn't it a blessing to be yeah, able to travel is. with your own blood absolutely it is yep he's That's awesome yeah he's almost 18 years old almost 18 mm -hmm. So, what happens when school starts back up? Um, he he's homes, out. yeah. He's he homeschools, but he's almost out of school. Okay. Yeah, he's been homeschooled since he was started school since <laughs> ever forever. Yeah. He's never been to a public school. He doesn't believe in them. He plays drums in the band right now. Uh, yes, he's been in the band since he was thirteen years old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought I recognized him from the last time you were guys yeah, yeah. around here. He's been 13 years, 13 years old is when he started. Okay, cool. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the roots of Seventh Day Slumber? You guys have been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have. We've been around for uh, since before he was born, and uh, and so we started in Dallas, Texas, at Christ for the Nations Bible College, um, and uh, we moved to nashville um a couple years after that and we've been in nashville for um almost 20 years but uh signed to uh, a record deal and you know moved moved on up okay and your record label holy cow it says capital on the back air yeah. that's big time that is a big time yeah <laughs> yeah we're we're on Rockfest records capital did you ever get to visit that big building in los angeles yet? well we visit the big building in nashville yeah, they have one. Oh, well, that's those. just as good. So, uh, this is your new CD. It's called Closer to Chaos. Tell us a little bit about how this came about and what your goal really is with this CD. Yeah, uh, Closer to Chaos is actually just a... Um, <clears throat> it just kind of references where we are as a society right now. And in our own lives every day, it seems like our world is getting closer and closer to chaos. But... The truth is, just like on this album cover where there's a tree of life and everything's falling down around it, that with God in your life, you can be getting closer to chaos, and we are, and everything can be falling down around you, but uh, you can still have peace knowing that God is with you and for you and has a plan for your life. I do have to say, this is one of the coolest album covers I've ever seen. I really like that. Did you have a special artist do yeah. up this art? A friend of mine, uh, David Joseph, he's an amazing graphic artist. He did uh, all of our album covers uh, up until, uh, well, about 10 years ago. And then Ryan from Demon Hunter, the lead singer of Demon Hunter, the band Demon Hunter, uh, did most of our other album covers. But David uh, did, has done them all for the past, I guess, 8 to 10 years. You sounded great tonight. Just let me throw that at you. You know what I mean? And talk a little bit about with your son, because this is this is kind of an oddity in in Christian rock that a family member is actually traveling with the band. Uh, so Sir. tell us about how that all got started, and uh, you know what you think about maybe keeping on going with this. Yeah. Um, so I started when I, I started playing drums when I was ten. Um, and I always kind of grew up around music, so I knew it was like, that was something that God had me doing, and uh, I didn't exactly know what it was, but uh, I started playing drums when I was 10. Um, I ended up joining the band when I was 13, um, but I was when I started, I was taking lessons from our drummer, uh, our old drummer, Jamie, uh, Jamie Davis. Um, now he's a church uh, pastor, which is really cool, uh, in California. Um, and so he taught me for about a year. Um, and then from then I just kind of, well, even while he was teaching me, um, I just kind of would always watch the drummers who he toured with, um, and just kind of learn what they were, what they're doing and like how they're playing certain stuff. And so we've toured with a lot of different styles of music. So I've got to watch a lot of different style drummers, which has definitely helped a lot. This band's been around. I'm sure yeah. you've got to tour with 
a lot of different styles of bands. Yeah, and so that's definitely helped a lot in my drumming is just being able to see so many different styles and not just one thing. Um, and so, uh, <clears throat> so do you ever like when you're going with a number and you see another drummer playing? Do you ever like go up and say, "Can you teach me how to do this or that?" What you did during this or that song? Um, yeah, I used to do that a lot when I was like when we were on tour with the other bands. Um, usually now it's like uh, I either will record them so I can like just listen to it and or um, just kind of try to not even necessarily do something exactly like what they're playing but something similar like make it my own style kind of um, but yeah it's it's been really cool um, and then but my dad actually made me uh, audition for seventh day slumber um, <laughs> yeah so um, uh, I think once or twice, because uh, I didn't make it the first time, because we had other people um, fill in and stuff, because I wasn't ready yet. And uh, obviously at the time, it was a little like, oh man, that that's that, that I wish I could do it. But uh, looking back now, it's I wasn't ready for it. And I, if I was in the band now, or whenever he told me no, um, I wouldn't have. First, I wouldn't have appreciated it as much as I do now, because uh, I didn't. I wouldn't have had to work for it. But I also I wouldn't be playing the way that I play now is because I had to work to play and get better and better and better until I could finally audition with I think two other drummers and actually get the job over them which was crazy <laughs> when I was 13 so. Hey, so, so now did you actually have a quote-unquote drum teacher when you first started out when you were 10 uh yeah our drummer Jamie uh he would come over yeah he'd come over for once a week uh he'd teach me for about an hour and then just practice that stuff the whole rest of the week that's cool so he would he knew you were, probably knew you were going to take his job, but he wasn't <laughs> afraid to give you that uh, mentorship that uh, you really needed at the time. I was looking at your website this afternoon, and my God, you guys are doing a lot of touring this year. I, I mean, I, from what I looked, I've seen, if, if you live anywhere in the Midwest, you're probably within at least a 100-mile drive to a Seventh-day Slumber concert. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys do all that traveling and touring all oh, so many gigs in span of like three four months uh you know it's tough it's can be rough on your throat and it you know doing show after show um but you just gotta try to take care of yourself and most importantly we get to take our families with us i travel with my wife and my three kids and uh and our bass player his wife is our sound engineer and so um yeah, so we're all just a big family, and uh, makes it easy for us to stay gone. That's like I said. That's so very cool that you guys are able mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, let me just ask you if you have one message you'd like to leave with people who are watching the Mike Wolf YouTube channel that you would like to leave us with. Well, I would just say that you're not alone, even if you're feeling alone, if you're hurt feeling lost um i know what that i know what that feels like i would we didn't mention it during the interview but you were a drug addict before you met the lord yeah i used to be addicted to cocaine out of 400 a day cocaine addiction and just i, I know what it meant i grew up without a father uh, single mom raising two boys and i started using drugs and alcohol when i was 12 and started thinking about suicide suicide when i was a uh, you know 12 years old and uh, anyway so I just want you to know that you're loved that uh, um, Jesus has changed my life um, you know all my kids um, have even though they haven't gone through drugs and all the different things praise God yeah amen they uh, they also understand that there's a living loving God that loves them and they've made decisions to follow him um, and so and they've learned from my mistakes you know what I mean um, but they meet hurting people every day, and then they also see those same people a year later after a seven-day slumber concert. Uh, there was a lady last night that told us that she um, had a year clean off of heroin. She had walked up to us at the, the concert and said, "I was last year when I saw you guys, I was addicted to heroin, and, uh, and I'm a year clean now. So my kids get to see that. I know that God has a plan for your life. He loves you, and just remember that. Hit us up at seventhdayslumber.com. That's www dot seventh day slumber dot com their new cd is seventh day slumber closer to chaos you can get it on their website right seventh day slumber dot com okay yeah. all right thank you
Now, I've noticed you playing with a few other bands this summer, filling in for some of their own man, band members. Uh, talk about that, and how, how, how is it, do you have to actually get ready for, to fill in for guys like protest and all that? Yeah, that's yeah, it's that's one the really cool thing that's like it's crazy. Like I've I'm seventeen, I'm gonna be eighteen next month and I've already been able to play for bands like The Protest and Spoken and As We Ascend, Zana, uh, even other genres like Manic Drive or Sean Locke, stuff like that. It's just crazy and now like uh <clears throat> it's so cool to know that like when people need a drummer, usually like they, they message me and it's like I'm like I'm only seventeen, man, that's like God has done some crazy stuff. Like, I, it's such a blessing to be able to do this stuff. And, man, I just, I'm so thankful. Now, how do you get the music? Do you, do they send you tapes ahead of time or charts or anything yeah, like that? Um, so, usually what they do is they'll send me a set list of, like, whatever songs they're playing for that show or whatever, or that tour. Um, and I, I just go upstairs and uh, download it. Uh, I usually have, most of the bands we tour with, I have their music bought on iTunes and stuff. So, Usually I just make a playlist of their songs and I just practice to them. Uh, and then when it starts getting closer to tour, um, they'll send me tracks, uh, their, their tracks, and I just practice the track and everything like that. Okay, cool. I know our friend Zona has been having some health issues lately. Have you heard anything at all about how her surgery is going, how she's feeling right now? Yeah, so she got uh, a new kidney, which is so awesome. Her mom actually, uh, she, it was, that's where she got her kidney from. Um, and so that was so cru like that was so crazy already, um, but yeah no we love Zana. Uh, she was actually we played July fourth um, uh, in New Caney, uh, I think New Caney, Texas, um, and yeah so she came out to the show. We played with Random Hero. She was supposed to play that show, but uh, her surgery got pushed back a little bit. Um, but she was still there to support all the bands and everything. Got to talk to her for a little bit, and she's doing a lot better. She's walking. So she's doing okay yeah. since yeah. the surgery and all that. Yep. She's yeah. Forward to seeing her back on stage yeah. when it can happen. Yeah, she's definitely. <laughs> she said she was tired of uh, having to sit around and not do anything. So I think she's ready to get up, uh, start playing shows again for y'all. Okay, that's good because I, I sit in my Zana sticker on my living room table when I eat breakfast every day. Yeah, and, and it reminds me to pray for her all the all the time too. Yes, sir. Yeah, she definitely needs prayer. So if y'all are watching this, make sure you're praying for Susie. Um, yeah, she she's doing better, but prayers are always, always, always needed. So. Okay. Well, next time you talk to her, tell her that the guys from Pittsburgh said hi to her. Will do. All right. Thanks. Yep. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joseph with Seven Day Slumber, Blaze with Seven Day Slumber, my youngest son Sage, and you're watching the Mike Wolf YouTube channel, South America. Keep it locked.